Our brain is a fascinating organ. Damage or abnormalities to our brain may significantly affect our perception of the outside world. Let's take a look at a case of an 83-year-old woman whose life drastically changed forever. One day, the 83-year-old woman was found collapsed in her house. She was taken to the hospital and examined by a GP. Upon examination, the woman reported that she had felt some weakness in her right side of the body. This symptom, however, had subsided by the time of admission. In her daily life, the woman had been able to move around independently with the aid of a walker. Despite her mild dementia, she only needed minimal assistance with her daily activities. Because the woman had reported weakness in the right side of her body, doctors decided to evaluate whether the reason for her collapse might have been due to a stroke. However, doctors found no signs of any sensory loss and they found out the woman had normal power in all four limbs. While the initial examination did not reveal any signs of stroke, doctors did note that the woman had a severe impairment in her visual acuity. Doctors noted that the patient was clearly unable to see things around her, as evidenced by her walking into objects often. Interestingly, however, despite obviously being blind, the woman would maintain that she was able to see things around her. She would deny having any loss of vision, even though it was clear that she couldn't see anything. Further examination revealed that her pupillary reflexes were intact. Her pupils would respond to changes in light by either dilating or constricting. An examination using fundoscopy was also conducted, in which the back of the eye and other structures of the eye were examined. The fundoscopy results came back unremarkable, with no structure of the eye being shown to be damaged. Thus, the testing revealed that although the patient was blind, her eyes were functioning perfectly normal. This raises the questions, how can this patient be blind when her eyes function normally? And if she is blind, why would she still claim that she can see? To answer the first question, doctors decided to conduct a neurological examination in which a CT scan of the patient's brain was performed. The scan showed evidence of an acute infarction in the right occipital and the left occipital parietal lobes, regions important for vision. Based on these findings, the patient was diagnosed with cortical blindness, a form of blindness that is caused by damage not to your eyes but by bilateral damage to the occipital lobes. Thus, blindness can not only be caused by damage to your eyes, it can also be caused by damage to the brain regions that are involved with vision. This is the case with the patient in our case study. This leads us to the second question, why is it that the patient keeps claiming that she can see when she cannot? This is an interesting question to ask because not only is she denying her loss of vision, she is also showing signs of confabulation. Confabulation refers to the creation of false memories in the absence of intentions of deception. Individuals who confabulate have no recognition that the information presented to others is fabricated. Thus, the reason why the patient is claiming that she can see when she cannot is not because she is being purposefully deceptive. Rather, due to the creation of false memories, the patient genuinely believes that what she is recalling is true. An example of this was when the patient was asked to comment on her doctor's tie. She very confidently came up with a quick answer that was incorrect. Her cortical blindness, in combination with the presence of confabulation, led doctors to diagnose the patient with Anton syndrome. This condition is an extension of her cortical blindness and is characterized by a denial and confabulation of the obvious loss of vision. One potential explanation as to why the patient developed this condition is that patients with damage to the visual areas of the brain can effectively be disconnected from the associating functioning brain areas such as the speech-language areas. When these speech-language areas don't receive any input from other brain regions, they may start to confabulate a response. When the patient was eventually released from the hospital, she returned back home to live with a family member. 
Over time, her general condition, such as her physical strength and nutritional status, improved. However, her vision loss persisted with little to no improvement. The likelihood of a marked recovery in her visual acuity was deemed low. The case study reported in this video is an interesting one. The case describes a patient who, after suffering a cerebral infarction, showed bilateral damage to brain regions that are involved with vision. This led the patient to suffer cortical blindness, which means that although her eyes functioned normally, she was still unable to see anything. Despite her obvious blindness, however, she still denied all loss of vision and she behaved as if she could see. This caused her to frequently walk into walls and fall over furniture and other objects. The patient also showed signs of confabulation, which ultimately led her to be diagnosed with Anton syndrome. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain, and we hope to see you in the next video.